Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for holding this hearing, for your leadership on this effort. Thank each of you for coming. Obviously, uh, uh, some of this uh, is not your first rodeo for many of you. Uh, welcome back, and uh, it's nice to meet uh, some of you who I'm just meeting today for the first time. Uh, obviously, the uh, Government Accountability Office and others have consistently reported that uh, data on the federal spending is often incomplete, out of date and inaccurate. Uh, this lack of accurate, re reliable, consistent data makes it difficult, if not impossible, to properly evaluate whether taxpayer dollars are being wasted or wisely spent. And in this era of very tight fiscal concern, when you're trying to make decisions on where money is to be appropriated and where it should go, having good record keeping and good tools to make informed decisions is critical. Uh, in just five years, uh, GAO had identified wasteful du uh, duplication, overlap, fragmentation in 106 areas across the government and an additional 72 areas of potential cost savings. Uh, you know, each year, Mr. Dodaro, we get your report and uh, it is illuminating. Uh, the only troubling thing is, is that it seems like a lot of times those things continue to stay on there. So hopefully today's hearing will help us uh, better implement a law that was uh, initiated right here in this committee, one that I think will provide great tools for OMB and others uh, as we look forward to that. You know, to give you an example, the EPA has 37 different laboratories managed by 15 different EPA officials spread across 30 cities and 170 buildings without any coordination. Now, if that is not uh, a recipe for disaster, uh, I can't imagine what it would be, because just the duplicative nature of that, you know, is one thing being done here. Uh, I can just uh, just imagine what we've got. So it is with this duplication and the the types of efficiencies that we want to make sure that we have that the GAO could not even tell the taxpayers where dollars were being wasted uh, at the EPA uh, because they, they didn't maintain sufficient documentation on the operating data. Well, it's not just there. As many of you know, the Social Security Administration is required to offset benefits for certain individuals who receive similar benefits under another program, like workers' comp compensation. In 2012, GAO found that the uh, Social Security Administration was not effectively administering the workers' compensation offset due to a lack of information about which recipients were receiving what benefits. And uh, in an eight-year period, it was estimated that some $43 million in disability insurance overpayments were made. Uh, those are just a few examples that we have. The Data Act requires that federal agencies need to maintain and report federal spending data in a format that will allow for good government watchdogs to weed out the waste and the fraud. And if implemented correctly, we will finally know how much our government is spending and where the money is being spent. I think today's hearing, we're looking forward to you illuminating those particular issues uh, as we see, even with that law that has been in effect a uh, little over a year now, uh, is, is not really taking hold to give us the tools uh, to make informed decisions. So we, we look forward to you sharing what we can do better to help you implement it and uh, ultimately help the American people. With that, I'll yield back, Mr. Chairman.